Okay, so I'm out of storage, so I had to delete some things and all the what jazz. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm realizing that I have a lot of attachment issues, a lot of insecurity issues that I'm really trying to overcome, and I'm doing my best at them. I'm so glad I have a good support system next to me, um, which is like my family, my boyfriend, <clears throat> my friends. I'm very glad and very grateful to have them. Um, I know I had to be removed from home uh, to be here, and this wasn't part of my plan. My plan was for my boyfriend to come with me, and I really wish he was here. However, it, it's, it's an important weekend for him and um, for work, and I want him to succeed in everything that he does. And, I mean, even if it, he doesn't, I'm proud of him for trying, just as I know he is of me. And I guess now me being here and have not having him, I just starting to think a little bit more about our relationship and how I value it and I value it so much and how I value everything else in my life, uh, like my job and my family and my kids, my friends. And I know my job is very stressful because uh, I'm not kind of where I want to be, but hopefully this weekend, um, I don't know, maybe there will be some better opportunities like I can see and feel hopeful and um, all of those things. I, I, I really, I really, really hope I, I can I can come through, have a breakthrough or something. I don't know. I'm having a breakthrough on my mental health for sure. It would be nice to have like a breakthrough from like my career because I feel like that's where I struggle with my insecurities. Because I feel like if I'm not accomplishing here, I'll, I won't accomplish in anything, which I know is not true, which is why, like, last night when I was crying, I'm, like, like asking, like, you know, my spirit guides, and let's just please remove these negative thoughts because I know they're not real. I have somebody who loves me so much and who supports me, and I have my, my kids love the shit out of me, and I need to stop thinking so negatively. And just like just I wanted that negativity to be taken away from me because it was daunting so now that I'm here and after I've journaled and realized all of these things that I've been oh, like clouding myself with bullshit now I'm just like okay that's good that's good I'm getting somewhere and I'm I'm happy it's going to take some time but at least I can acknowledge it now and I couldn't acknowledge it before. So, hopefully things get better from here and I know that it's not anybody else's job to be here for me but myself. I know a lot of people can see it differently and that they'll be like, "Well, your boyfriend should be there for you or your kids should be there for you, your friends, blah 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 blah." They're not I I I'm not their um charity case or their i'm not i'm trying to say like like i'm not their responsibility i'm my own responsibility and how i feel nobody else's and i feel like we all try to ma play a major role in somebody's life for that because uh, we want to feel like the hero or the superior or whatever that may be but that is not how it should be like nobody Nobody owns me, nobody should put up with me, and nobody should make me feel happy. I make myself feel happy. Like, nobody makes me or break me. I make me and break me. And right now, I am breaking myself for no fucking reason. And if I don't stop, I will lose everything I love. So I need to start taking fucking accountability for what I'm doing and make this shit better. And that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how yet, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> There's going to probably be some trial and errors, but maybe it'll help somebody. Anyways, let me go before it tells me I'm out of storage. <laughs> oh. I've had this phone for six years. Can barely pay the phone bill. Not even trying to buy a new one. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do.